Meet Professor Misha Dola, musician and technician, performing one of his own compositions at King's College Chapel in London. Such a level of virtuosity takes years to accomplish, but Misha's team believe 5G technology can transform the way we learn new skills. So what we do is we put a haptic glove on my hand. That glove is recording every single movement of my fingers and my hand position. That's being stored on a skills database, all standardized. Other musicians can contribute. Now, when a child wants to practice the skills or uh, some piece of music, they would download that in real time onto an exoskeleton, which would start move their fingers until the muscle memory is trained. The lightning speed of 5G is essential to make this work, and the technology could form the basis of a new network, the Internet of Skills. So the most exciting application at the moment is in surgery. By digitizing his skills, using the glove and all we can to record the, 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 the movements, we put that on a surgery database, and then we can actually train students at scale all around the world, not only here in the UK, in Africa, in South America, in Asia, everywhere you want. The telecoms giant Ericsson has teamed up with King's College London to work with experts in artificial intelligence, education and robotics. You have to realise that 5G is just not another G. It's got a lot more about it than the 4Gs, the 3Gs and 2Gs. What we've realised is that it's got such a universal platform that can provide so many benefits to industry and society. The technology is also exciting creative talents working across the arts. Another thing that 5G is going to do is enable a convergence of cinema and theatre, or of live performance and recorded performance. Ali worked with composer Paola Prestini to combine video walls with live performance on a work titled Epiphany. With 5G technology, the choir wouldn't even need to be in the same room. What 5G will enable us to do is bring the feeling of presence of this choir wherever they happen to be performing, to wherever the piece is installed. So the choir could be in New York or it could be in London. The piece could be in Rio de Janeiro or Taipei or Beijing. So it, it really enables us to bring the whole world together. After virtual reality and augmented reality, this is what's been referred to as synchronized reality and you're likely to see a lot more of it when 5G itself becomes reality just a few years from now. Neil Curry, CNN, London. How 5G Could Change Everything From Music To Medicine by Katie Scott at CNN Money. 5G is going to be a really big deal. The lightning quick next generation wireless technology is expected to power self-driving cars, virtual reality, smart cities and networked robots. But what else can it do? Ericsson Eric, has joined up with researchers from King's College London to dream up futuristic applications for 5G. They're looking at everything from music to medicine. The team is focused on using the technology to transfer physical skills across networks, creating something they call the Internet of Skills. One example, a surgeon with virtual reality equipment and haptic gloves, which sense motion and pressure, could operate on a patient on the other side of the world via a robot. Remote surgery has been possible for a while, but 5G speeds should eliminate all delays and lag. That means the surgeon could get instant feedback via the gloves. With 5G and the new networking architecture we're building, we're hoping to get this delay down to just the speed of light, said Nisha Doler, a professor of wireless communications at King's College. Doler, who moonlights as a composer and pianist, also plans to digitize his piano skills and teach people remotely to master the instrument. Haptic gloves can be used to track and record the movement of Dollar's fingers, and the position of his hands. The data would be stored on the skills database, ready to be downloaded by an aspiring pianist. 
they would download that in real time onto an exoskeleton, which would start to move their fingers until the muscle memory is trained, said Dollar. They could actually practice their muscle memory anywhere they want, he added. Dollar also imagines a surgeon could upload their skills to a database to train students around the world. But he said it might take another decade for this Internet of Skills to be fully functional. We need to get security rights and the best practice of this technology right. Because the moment you start moving things on the other side of the planet, you can do a lot of harm, he said. Of his hands. The data would be stored on the skills database. Ready to be downloaded by an aspiring pianist. They would download that in real time onto an exoskeleton, which would start to move their fingers until the muscle memory is trained, said Dollar. They could actually practice their muscle memory anywhere they want, he added. Dollar also imagines a surgeon could upload their skills to a database to train students around the world. But he said it might take another decade for this Internet of Skills to be fully functional. We need to get security rights and the best practice of this technology right. Because the moment you start moving things on the other side of the planet, you can do a lot of harm, he said. We need to get security rights and the best practice of this technology right. Because the moment you start moving things on the other side of the planet, you can do a lot of harm, he said.